Well, expect to see some celebrities today showing for their support for jailed rapper Meek Mill. Supporters plan to rally outside of Philadelphia court building while lawyers inside argue the rapper's fate. More, more on that story. Let's head out to Audit News reporter Trang Dell. She is live at the Criminal Justice Center in Center City. Trang, good morning. Hey, good morning, Rahel and Jim. Yes, contrary to rumors that exploded over the weekend, Milk Mill is not being released today. He will also not appear in court. But as you mentioned, several of his famous friends, as well as other supporters, will gather here to speak out about his case and for criminal justice reform. Sixers co-owner Michael Rubin is once again putting himself at the forefront of the free Meek Mill movement. Last week, Rubin and New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft visited the jailed rapper at the medium security state prison in Chester. He's going to turn this thing around and inspire a lot of other young people who have been treated unfairly. He's got um, just incredibly positive energy. Today, Rubin and entertainer Little Uzi Vert are expected to speak at a rally outside the Criminal Justice Center in support of Mill's release. The 30-year-old rapper, whose given name is Robert Rameek Williams, is serving a two to four year sentence for a probation violation on a nearly 10-year-old gun charge. His supporters say the punishment doesn't fit the crime. Together, all of us will be able, be able to fix that and make it a better world because I think the criminal justice system is very broken. Inside the CJC, Judge Denise Brinkley, who has been sharply criticized for her handling of the case, attorneys for the rapper and prosecutors will attend a status hearing for the rapper. Judge Brinkley has previously denied Mill's request to be released on bail. She and others say the rapper has been given multiple chances to stay out of trouble. His freedom is now in the hands of the state Supreme Court. And Meek Mill's status hearing is scheduled for 9 a.m. here at the Criminal Justice Center. Meanwhile, his supporters plan to rally here from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. So if you're going to be in this area of 13th and Filbert, you should definitely expect some tie-ups. But for now, we're live outside the Criminal Justice Center. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Rahel and Jim, back to you. Good to know, Trang. Thank you.